Hello. It's been a while, hasn't it? Um, <clears throat> really had anything to say. Um, probably haven't got anything to say now. Um, you may well notice, if you care, that I'm in a new car. Um, yeah, the the, um, the old one was just costing too much to run and things. Um, so picked this up on Monday. So far, so good. Um, but today, what I thought I'd do, because this is the first car for probably five, six cars that's got music in it. A stereo that works. So what I thought I'd do very quickly is just, I can't find all my CDs because I haven't got a CD player at home either now and I've got hundreds of CDs and I've put them somewhere and I can't find them. So I just thought I'd quickly show you what I'm listening to. It's a bit of, I think they, they use the word eclectic but I don't really know what that means but if it does mean this, well then fair enough. Um, so I thought I'd show you first of all what is the best ever, in my mind, Def Leppard album it's very good it's got some really good songs on things like photograph um and another one of my favorites was falling rock of ages that sort of thing um 1983 1983 so i was 10 then so that's 35 years old shit um to my mind yet yeah, best def leppard album ever after that, what was the last next one called? Was it Hysteria. It had the song Hysteria in it, so yeah, I think it was probably called Hysteria. Um, which, interestingly enough, there isn't a song called Pyromania. No, there you go. Um, yeah, after this one, it got a bit too produced, a bit too clean. This one still feels like sort of people in Sheffield practicing in the warehouse, a bit dirty, a bit rough around the edges. I like this. This is my favourite album. There you go. Another one, um, not my favourite either, but again, I could only find this one. Um, Metallica and Justice for All. Now, this one I always thought was a little bit of a rip-off, and I bought this one second-hand for that very reason, because there's only nine tracks on it. Nine tracks. You've got people there who are practically billionaires. They give you nine tracks. 1988 um, as I say not really my, my favourite they've got a lot of very long songs on here um, Blackened 6 minutes 40 Eye of the Beholder 6 minutes 25 Gets. I wonder if they sort of justified having 9, nine tracks by having them all bloody long um, best song by, by far is, is one called One um, and it's it's very good video, quite quite moving. It's about a film called Johnny Got His Gun, about a World War One soldier who um, got his arms and legs and face blown off, um, and the only way he could communicate is by nodding his head in Morse code. And he, in the film, he's nodding "Kill me" because obviously he doesn't want to be alive. Um, so yeah, average album from Metallica. Um, they're not my favourite band anyway, um, but again, it's all I could find. Now this, again, not the best album by them, but again, I'll stop saying all I can find, but it was all I could find. Band called Deicide. Now this is, if, if you want to sort of listen to some quite extreme, sort of heavy music, proper heavy that people say you can't hear the words you don't know what they're saying you don't need to know what they're saying if you listen to the 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 sounds and things like that um this was done in 2004 or 2008 can't tell can't read the small print but very good very good um scars of the crucifix they got their sort of infamy or fame by the fact that they claimed to be Satanists um, the bass player is also the singer Glenn Benton and he branded an upside down cross on his forehead and funnily enough he also had the numbers 666 tattooed just there which obviously is the number of the beast apparently 
Um, and it's quite funny now he's getting on a bit. He's in his 50s. His barnet's lo he's started to recede. So he's got sort of very little hair and he's just got the number 666 just there. Uh, looks quite funny. Probably didn't think that through, did you, Glenn? Um, but no, this is proper extreme, very fast music. You won't hear the words. Don't expect to hear the words. But, you know, get over that bit. Give it a chance. You you probably won't enjoy it. You're probably not meant to enjoy it. I love it. Um, not their best album. Their best album is actually one called Deerside. Um, but check them out. They're good. They're not very famous. I think um, Glenn sort of spoilt the fame, really, because he used to just not turn up. They'd arrange gigs and he'd not turn up. Um... I think he'd probably claim some sort of depression or whatever, or things like that. So, there you go. That's my tunes. I'm quite chuffed that I've got tunes. Tonight I'll be looking for some more tunes. Um, but I'm quite pleased. That's quite a good mix. Um, at the moment it's Def Leppard um, coming in. But after work, when I'm probably a bit cross, it'll be something a little bit heavier. Because Def Leppard, I can't... after that, they, they were a pop group. Um... Which is fair enough, nothing wrong with being a pop group, lots of people are pop groups. Um, but I prefer something a little bit sort of rawer than that, you know. Um, so there you go, new car, I'm in quite a good mood. Um, that's why I haven't said anything. So have a good day, boiling hot in it, there isn't any aircon, which is a bit of a bitch. But you can't have everything, can you? Um, so yeah, have a good day, love you all, bye.